Hello, to the whole world. It's Luandile here, the leader and the instructor of my life programming school. And right now, I'm about to dive on to the very first exercise on this chapter entitled Methods. In case you didn't know, I've already given you guys two solutions on this exercise. However, there are certain things that I want to talk about. Okay. You see, this right here is nothing else but precisely what we had before. Okay. Without any waste of time, let me start by hitting the run button. That way you will see that I am not kidding you guys. I've got a working solution indeed okay without any waste of time there's something that i left out on purpose in the previous two videos and that is the importance of not assuming that the value or the of not assuming that the arguments that you received or the parameters that you receive on your method are okay or rather valid so validating whatever you get from your method is crucial you guys it is as crucial as validating whatever you get out of the method now what do i mean by that you see that n value there could be a negative number right and i'm not quite sure whether or not a negative number is allowed here okay as you can see we are told that n is supposed to start from some number greater than supposed to start from number from number one right so what if here we get some number like zero okay then of course we're gonna have a problem we're gonna get the results to be zero as well which is probably what we don't want again you could get a specification suppose you are you work in a company and you're getting a specification that your your, your method should accept numbers starting from one right but that does not mean that you can just go on and work with your n variable without first validating it right so that is absolutely why we have to make sure that we always validate whatever we get is our is the elements of a method so i'll go if n is greater than or equals to one then i can do all of that okay however if there is not the case I can perhaps return something that uh, that will tell me that we do have a problem. Okay, maybe something like I can go integer dot max value for instance or dot mean value okay that way whenever we're getting a, a minimum value r integers whenever we're getting a minimum value of the integer data type out of this method we will instantly know that we have a problem okay as i mentioned before validating whatever you get from the user 
is as important whatever you get from your method is as important as validating whatever you get out of the method now what do i mean by that before continuing i would have to go if penta gonal number is equals to integer dot mean value then right there and then i will know that we have a problem so I'll go system dot out dot print error invalid value of n okay ah uh, it's entirely up to me what i want to do if Okay, here's what I want to do. Uh, 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 if this is the case, then I can continue with my program. Here's what I want you guys to know though. You see, it might probably not make sense for this case over here. Why? We do know that our value of n will definitely start from n, from 1. I mean, suppose hypothetically that we're getting our n value from a user or maybe somewhere else or from some api right or from a third party it would be wise in that case to make sure that our program is written this way right we will validate our n value from the main method i mean from the get pentagonal method and will validate the output that's going to be given up by the get pentagonal number method okay of course we would have to break uh, our loop in case we've got an invalid input okay again you guys let me hit